Hello, my name's Roger Sant and I work for Maritz, which is a customer experience management company. Customer experience management is all about acting on customer feedback to bring about change in an organisation that leads to an improved customer experience. The trouble is, things don't always work as well as they should do. So what's wrong with the current situation? Well, customers feel they are being asked to fill out long and boring questionnaires. They don't know what's happening to the feedback they give and they don't feel as if they're getting anything in return. Customer insight departments are inundated with information. Their challenge is all about integration. And finally, customer facing staff that are meant to be acting on this information sometimes focus on fixing the numbers rather than improving the customer experience itself. In all these instances, market research is failing. So what can we do about this? At Maritz, we've got a global team working on the next generation of customer experience management. And we've come up with 10 things clients could be doing today to start overcoming these issues. I'll give you a couple of examples. One is to create a categorization framework that brings together all these different sources of information. This is about making categories or buckets that correspond to each different type of interaction that a customer has with a company. When you get some feedback, be it from survey data, complaints, the internet or anywhere, you can put it into the appropriate bucket and compare it with any other source of information on the same subject. Another example is to look at the bigger picture. This means not treating brand and experience as separate entities. Companies that do silo communications and operations are not being customer centric because to a customer it's all one company. A great way of doing this is to assess the brand delivery gap. That's the difference between what a brand promises and what it delivers. This brings together brand and experience and helps companies prioritise investments between communications and operations as well as within them. That's two examples of the 10 things. I haven't got time to cover any more in this video, but if you're interested, please get in touch. I'm always happy to have a chat.